Hey everyone, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use armatures inside Blockbench. So armatures, unlike classic rigging in Blockbench, where you essentially have a hierarchy of rigid elements and groups that connect them, uh, with armatures you can uh, create your whole model in one mesh and then use an armature to bend and deform it to your liking with animations. This pretty much allows you to achieve results like this, where your animation is just a lot smoother and your limbs are directly connected and bending. So let's start by uh, creating a very basic model. Um, let's create a torso here. I kind of set the pivot to the bottom. Uh, let's enable mirror modeling so that we can uh, create something that's symmetric. Uh, I'm gonna split this in the middle and uh, expand this downwards so we can have some legs. Uh, just gonna set this one to zero to get a flat foot. Uh, so for armatures it's always important to have uh, a bit of extra geometry so that it can bend anywhere. Um, so I'm gonna loop cut the torso up here as well. Uh, maybe something like this. Um, and I'll do the same for the legs as well. Uh, yeah, just some, uh, you can space them out differently, do more complex stuff, uh, depending on your model. Uh, let's create some arms as well. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, expand this here a little bit and then also just drag it out, add some loop cuts here, uh, just a few. Let's also add a quick hat. Okay, so we have a very basic model set up now. So what I'm gonna do next is press this button here, add a little arrow on the side and add an armature. Uh, this will have already a bone by default. Uh, so I'm gonna just move this up and you can also use this resize tool uh, to change the size on these. Uh, so I'm gonna call this one torso. Uh, you can press shift E to um, add another bone at the end of your chain, so to expand it. Uh, let's change this one a bit as well. And we'll just add another one. So I'm gonna call this one, uh, let's call this one uh, chest. And we'll call this one head. Uh, I'm gonna select the armature and just add another armature bone and we'll use this one for the legs below. Uh, you can see mirror modeling already duplicates it to the other side, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'll just rotate it upside down so it faces downwards, uh, move it in the middle and expand it down. And now we have a bit of a, um, a rig in the legs. You can also make this more complex, but we'll just do a simple one for now. Uh, I'm also gonna um, from the chest, so that it's a link to this one. Um, expand once more and I will rotate these outwards to create the arms. Uh, let's make it 90 degrees, up a little bit and expand once more. Mm, okay, this looks about right. Uh, what you can do if you wanna organize your bones a bit, uh, you can just right click one and set a marker color, uh, which just gives you bone a color so you can see and find what which one it is. Uh, let's rename these the new ones as well. Uh, so this one will be left leg, uh, left chin, and this one right leg, right chin, and left arm. Left arm there we go. Now all bones are pretty much named. Um, yes. And now, so the way you connect a mesh to an armature is to just drag it into the armature directly uh, so that both the mesh and your bones are attached to the, attached to the armature. So I'm gonna disable mirror painting since we're done uh, with the modeling for now. Um, and now what you can do is move over to weight painting. So weight painting is essentially you um, assign which part of the mesh is attached to which bone and how much. Uh, 
and each vertex essentially in the mesh can be attached to multiple bones or just one. Um, a good way to get a head start on this is to automatically calculate weights. And the way you can do this is by just right, -click right clicking the uh, mesh and clicking calculate vertex weights. Uh, and if you just click through a bunch of bones now, uh, you can see that the weights are auto automatically assigned. Uh, you can still see sometimes there are some small issues, uh, so we can fix these now. Um, so when you have the weight brush enabled, uh, you can just click and drag to um, assign weights to vertices. Uh, red is pretty much full weight, and then you have like a gradient between. So this one is pretty much like the whole arm is assigned to this bone, which looks good. Uh, you can hold Alt and click on another bone to select it. Uh, yeah, this one also looks good. Uh, we can select the head as well. Uh, so one thing I would recommend in this stage is to enable um, weight brush x-ray mode. Uh, so what that will do is if you just paint over something, even the vertices behind it will be painted, which just makes it easier to set up some parts uh, of the weight painting. Uh, so yeah, so the head is now white painted. Uh, let's move on to these. Again, on this one, the end is missing. Uh, let's fill that in. Um, and the legs as well. Uh, so while weight painting, you can also use modifier keys. Uh, so what shift will do, you can see it down here. Shift is fine tune. Uh, so if I, if I click somewhere and hold shift, uh, it'll only change a little bit. So blue means it has, it is just slightly affected and you click again, it changes through green and then yellow, orange, and then to red. Uh, you can also hold control to subtract weights. Uh, so we're going back through green uh, and to blue, um, holding uh, control and shift at the same time right now. Uh, you can hold just control and subtract entirely. Mm, yeah, so everything seems to be roughly set up correctly now. Uh, what you can also do to verify is you can switch your view mode to the vertex bone color. So what this will do is it'll just highlight uh, all of your mesh in the marker color of each bone. Um, that way you can directly see which bone is linked to which part of the mesh. And also you can see which part are not assigned to a bone yet. So you can see the black parts here are not assigned to anything. So let's just uh, attach most, most of it to the chest bone. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. Um, so I'm going to blend these two bones uh, together a bit more. So I'll select the top bone and hold shift and just click on these vertices a bit. Uh, you can also use mirror modeling for this, by the way. So let's enable that. Uh, and you can see the weights are mirrored to the other side as well. Um, let's fix the legs here a little bit as well. Uh, so remove some weight here, uh, add some back from the torso bone. Um, yeah, something like that. And now pretty much our weights are set up. So what we can do now uh, to actually pose it uh, is we just go to animate mode and create an animation. And now anytime we move a bone anywhere, the mesh is attached to it. So you can see you can move the bone and it bends the mesh. Um, and you can see also see how it bends. So if you want to fine tune that, tweak it a little bit, uh, you can go back to edit mode, use your weight brush and adjust it a little bit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you around.